Welcome, I'm filming an Asus ROG Phone 2 and today I'll show you how to use the screen recording uh, option and also set it up. So to get started let's pull down the notification panel and from here you'll see the screen recorder toggle. So you want to hold that. This will take us to the settings where we can customize a little bit further some options. So number one we have the resolution. Set it to the highest one which is 1080p. Then quality. Uh, go from medium to high. Medium is the default. Uh, storage location. Now not entirely sure why it's showing us two different options here considering we only have the phone storage, there is no expendable storage if I'm, sh if I'm sh well, correct. Um, and then we have uh, record audio, so you can have either or, uh, no option to record both, which is a shame. So you can choose either a microphone or internal audio, uh, internal meaning whatever the phone uh, will be making, whatever sounds. So if you're playing some kind of video on it, it will give you, record the sound of the video. Um, then we have uh, countdown before recording. Oh, I'm going to change that to zero. Uh, this is just a personal preference. Um, start recording immediately when the screen recording is turned on. Um, show touch. Uh, that that option will allow you to see a dot on the screen on the recording, uh, which is representative or to where you were touching the display yourself. So if you don't want anything sliding over the recording, you might want to disable that. You will see later on how that looks like. Uh, then you have uh, black over delay notifications and start recording for incoming calls. So again, some options that you can choose to enable or disable here. And once everything is set here, which is not much options actually, uh, it's missing in my opinion camera options and stuff like that. Uh, but once all of that is set, you can tap on screen recording. As you can see now it immediately starts recording and wherever I'm touching it, it's being recorded. Now even though the phone is recording at or working at 120 Hz, um, the recording is only at 60 unfortunately. Uh, so it is fairly limited when it comes down to the built-in recorder. But once you have saved it or stopped recording, uh, the footage itself can be found in your photo gallery. You will see right over here. And you can see there is a dot that is recording where I was sliding. So that is how you would record your screen on the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.